What's up guys and welcome back to some more Soulless Seal Duelist. Again, I hope you guys are enjoying the series. I hope you guys are enjoying both me and Curly's perspectives. And, uh, you know, for those of you who are on Team Kane, I appreciate you. Uh, if you have not watched the last video, you know that we are in a must-win situation. Uh, it has been... I, I try to do something interesting and, and I don't know. I... Son of a bitch! So what I've learned from Duel and Curly right now, which I, I seem to... I guess get reminded of is that Curly has some really good monsters and he has a lot of good traps. Now knowing that we both have a Jinzo, even playing field, but with him having more Witch, uh, Black, Witch of the Black Forest than I do, he has an easier time getting it than I do. Uh, so with, and also he's been he was doing really really good with uh, flip effect monsters too. Uh, you know with Noble Meta Cross Out and you know Dark Hole whatever like he's been dealing with it much uh, better. Uh, but I, I had a lot. I had a blast with the duel that we had left. But again, we are in a must-win situation. And uh, I did get some really good cards last time, but I wanted to do something like this because I, I honestly thought that he would have a hard time with it. You know, I was trying to keep in mind that you know I didn't want to play a bunch of traps because I figured he might pull a Jinzo, and since he did, I didn't feel comfortable, you know, siding in gravity binds over like these and whatever. And I don't know. I was just. Anyway, just go watch the video and see how it went. But either way, uh, we are going to be opening, opening Labyrinth of Nightmare. And, uh, of course, I hope Curly is enjoying his tin. Although we really, really would need a tin. Really, really bad. Uh, you know, it's just so that he doesn't keep getting good stuff. So, we'll see. Uh, but either way, uh, the only thing I can really see from the set that we could really, really use uh, is Torrental Tribute. Uh, other than that... I'm not sure. There are some interesting cards, but I, I don't really feel like talking about them until we just pull them, and then we can talk about them. So, yep, we're going to open Labyrinth Nightmare. Very nostalgic set. Uh, I remember, of course, as a kid, just opening, you know, these old school sets and whatever, and I remember a lot of the cards. But uh, let's just go ahead and open a box, and then uh, I'm going to be working really hard to make the best deck possible. I know we can make a really good deck against Curly knowing what he is going to throw at us so let's just jump into it and see what we can grab uh there are a lot of burn cards i remember you know with with my whole mill deck deck out deck for him empty jar whatever you want to call it he, he did say that he was thinking about burn but he didn't get enough cards which is good for us but there i guess this deck does come with some interesting burn cards some uh fire uh cards uh, fire, not in that they're fire, but they're fire monsters, anyway. <laughs> uh, but we're just going to open these. This does come with Spirit Board. Ooh, Hysteric, uh, Hysteric Fairy is a very, very good monster. And we got a uh, Fairy Box, which is not a bad trap. Although you do have to flip a coin, and if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So I don't know how I feel about it. Plus, again, we both have a Jinzo, so I don't know if he's going to be playing as many traps. If he does, that's only going to be better for us. Um, but I'm going to try to play some good traps, but not, you know, not as many, I, I would say. Mask of Weakness, I think, is a good card. And we got Fusion Gate. That is actually really interesting to see. That could come into play later. Uh, we'll see. Uh, oh, oh, they named her Dark Lord Mary. Huh. This card used to be called, uh, I think it was called Mary the Fallen One or something. They made her a Dark Lord. That's interesting. Bait Doll's an interesting removal card, but we have a Cold Wave and Mask of Dispel is interesting. That only really affects uh, continuous spells. Curly doesn't really play them. Who knows? Tornado Bird is a good get, and we have another Fusion Gate. Oh um, man, Curly better be getting these Fusion Gates too, because he, he wants to build a, a hero deck at some point. And, uh, you know, good luck to him. But uh, Tornado Bird returns spell and traps to the hand. They don't remove them, but they're much better than uh, Trap Master, so I'm happy about that. Although, with Flip Effect Monsters, I'm not sure if they're so good anymore. But we got another Hysteric Fairy. Very, very good to see that. Uh, a lot of... There's so many cards in this uh, set that have to do with, you know, increasing your life points and, and burn damage, which is nice to add those to the game to add some variety or whatever. Um... Interesting special summon of monster. Dancing Fairy is not bad either. Oh yeah, it's Umbra of the Dark. I just realized Umbra of the Dark is pretty hype. I like Umbra of the Dark. 
classic, classic card. Unfriendly Amazon is not bad, I think, but we'll have to see. So far, I'm feeling pretty good. I mean, I do have, again, I got some really good cards in the other uh, set, which is kind of good that Curly doesn't know. Um, I was going to say, so when you guys are watching this video, uh, it is it probably, you know, the, the duel that's going to be in this video, probably at the time you're watching this happened three weeks ago. Uh, which means for us, I, I don't see his video either. So I don't, uh, I can only go, oh, <gasps> what? No way. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't look down here. Holy shit. We got our own magic cylinder. Oh my god. Didn't expect that at all. Well, I'm happy about that. But yeah, I, I can only go based off of what Curly has already shown me. Uh, which is actually pretty good. It's a weekly series, but we've done like a few of them before we posted it. Offerings to the Doom, a very good removal card, and another Zombra of the Dark. That looks freaking awesome. Um, we're starting to get some monsters that overpower some of his really good ones, but... Uh, you know, he, he could probably pull some too. It's just a common. It's not a big deal. Mast, uh, ultra rare Mast Beast. And a third Fusion Gate. Okay, we have three Fusion Gates and a Polymerization. Not sure where we can go from there, but that will be interesting. But yeah, ma Magic Cylinder. That's sick. Alright. So far, so good. Another Offerings to the Doomed. Alright, a lot of like Bakora and Merrick type cards or monsters from the show. Pretty interesting set. Um, Alright, three offerings to the Doom. Not sure how I feel about that. Yeah, it's it, it's it's one of those cards that is, might, might be worth it to play, but who knows. Another Fire Sorcerer. Tornado Wall, but I don't know if I have any Umis. Uh, but we'll see. A <laughs> Jam Breeding Machine is the rare. Another Dancing Fairy in a Fairy Box. Okay, good. Let's see what else. We got Revival Jam. Sick. Rival Gems, I think, is okay. I think he revives, unlike the show, he, he revives himself the next turn by paying a thousand life points, I think. Uh, but we'll... <sighs> no fucking way. Are you fucking serious? Holy shit. Alright, I gotta look at what Mental Box Spirit does, but I don't know about that. What in the fuck? And we got Destiny Board. <laughs> I don't think we got all the letters, but that is interesting to see. Oh, and a third Zomber of the Dark. Okay, we, we are... Yeah, like I said, we're in a must-win situation, and I feel pretty good about that. Bazoo the Soul Eater. Another Fairy Box. Fusion Gate again. Yeah, he, he's definitely gonna pull a bunch of Fusion Gates. I, I really hope he does. He definitely needs them. Um, nothing too much about that pack, and then last pack. Nothing to really think about there. No. Holy shit. What can I say? We pulled two secret rares. Two magic cylinders. I did not, ex I did not wake up today and expect to pull two magic cylinders. Plus we got some really awesome uh, spell cards and trap cards and some monsters too. This is a really good set. This will only add to the ideas that I have for this deck. You know, I'm I'm just going to go with a standard, you know, I guess beatdown deck, you could call it. You know, I, I don't... I, I kind of want to go away from Flip Effect Monsters, but, you know, w without really going into it, I'm just going to let the deck profile speak for itself. So, let's just get to that. Alright guys, so for today's video, we are going to be dueling with this deck, and I'm going to go over some of the... Reasons why I'm playing certain cards, as I always do in these videos. But yeah, again, I hope you guys are enjoying this. Uh, I put a lot of thought into this one because we are <laughs> we are one to three. We really need this win, and I'm very very excited to uh, you know go with this with a little bit of a different strategy. Uh, I know I said that last time, but I think this is definitely going to work because it did work in our second duel where I was more of a 
had like a beatdown style. You know, I used equip spells and everything to increase my attack power, but I think this is going to be really, really good. Uh, again, I could maybe change this at the last minute because I have a lot of thoughts going on. But uh, we're going to go through the deck. So basically this deck, the main thing to focus on is the fact that we have a little bit more trap cards. And also uh, we are going to be focusing primarily on, you know, attack power and not flip effects. Because we saw how effectively Curly was using against flip effects. My idea is that, uh, you know, Curly will be put into position like he was in the second duel. Where he just, I, I don't know, he, he, he was able to deal with... You know, very slow uh, gameplay as far as, like, you know, I put a monster face down, he was, like, Noble Man or Cross Out or Exile Force or Dark Hole or whatever to try not to uh, allow me to activate flip effects that are really, really uh, powerful. So that's essentially what I'm going with, so we'll see. So with the deck profile, we are going with Bazoo, the Soul Eater, which, uh, you know, even if you activate his effect to banish one monster, his attack will be 1900, which is pretty good. Um, you know, but I don't know, I'm not really too, I'm not such a big fan of this card, but I'm going to give it a shot because he's pretty much one of the best, uh, level fours that I could choose from. Uh, we have two Hysteric Fairies, unfortunately I only pulled two, but, uh, it's a pretty good, you know, it's a light, it's 1800, tribute two monsters to increase your life points by a thousand, which, I mean, it could come in handy, who knows, I mean, effect is better than no effect. Uh, but yeah, I don't know, uh, with... The future sets coming up where we're going to be dealing with, you know, Chaos Sorcerers and stuff like that. It's good to get some good light targets, so I like Hysteric Fairy. Uh, we're playing the Jinzo. Um, so one thing to keep in mind is that now that I know that Curly has Jinzo, I feel like... Uh, and, and also that he plays like Witch Lady of the Black Forest, which uh, more of them than I do, which he has quicker access to Jinzo compared to me, um, which I don't think is that bad given the fact that, you know, some of the cards we're playing, but we'll, we'll see what happens, but the idea is to get Jinzo. I was really tempted to maybe play Summon Skull as well, but I'm not quite sure about that. I, I think that might not work as well as I think, uh, but we'll see. Uh, so we're playing Magician of Faith, so the I'm playing Magician of Faith because I feel like she's too good not to play. I originally wanted this deck to have no flip effect monsters, but I feel like you know, she is just too good to play. Uh, I will explain why I'm siding some of the flip effect monsters that I am uh, later. But yeah, I, I think if I'm going to play one, I think I'll play Magician of Faith. But that could change in game two and three. All right, of course, we got Mr. Tomato, which is good. It brings out Sangan, brings out Witch Lady of Black Forest. Um, you know, the three Sangan and Witch Lady as well. Now, when I was building this deck, I realized that uh, I didn't have as many search targets for Sangan. Uh, primarily because I wasn't I was playing a lot of strong monsters so that's why I am also adding the white magical hats um, because of certain cards that we're playing in the deck I feel like this card could do really really well not quite comfortable to play three but also I didn't feel like playing one meant anything either so we're gonna see how this goes uh, but also I want to talk about this card the unfriendly Amazon 2,000 attack, but of course, in the early stages of Yu-Gi-Oh, there had to always be a drawback for strong monsters. That doesn't really apply anymore to the game at all, but back in the day, if a monster had a little more attack points than, you know, they were willing to uh, <laughs> give it, they would give it kind of a drawback. So her ability, basically, is that you need to tribute one of your monsters, uh, other than her, uh, during your standby phase, the beginning of your turn, to keep her on the field, otherwise she is destroyed. So when you summon her, you can attack with her, she'll stay on the field during the opponent's turn, but once your turn starts, unless you tribute a monster, she goes away. Um, very, very tempted to... Well, I was originally playing three of her, but I was like, but she could just go away so damn easily. 2,000 points is, is a lot of points, but uh, we are playing some pretty strong monsters, but yeah, I'm just going to play one of her and see how it goes. But uh, she definitely would make a great you know, beat down card if we had cards like Skill Drain or something like that, but we don't. Uh, so that would be really, really interesting. But yeah, I'm going to play one of her. I feel like it works out pretty well. Uh, but yeah, also we're playing Zambriah the Dark, a very popular monster uh, for me because I always thought this card was very cool. And yeah, of course, back in the day, you, monsters with strong attack points had to have a drawback. But Zambriah the Dark is really awesome. Um, so his only downside is that he can't attack the opponent directly. 
And also, every time he successfully destroys a monster by battle, he loses 200 attacks. So he goes from 21 to 19, which is still pretty good. Then he goes to 17. But by the t but, but you know you you basically want to benefit from him being able to get over strong defensive and attack point monsters. So he you get he definitely get a lot of value out of this card. It's really really strong. Uh, but yeah, it would be a great card if we had like you know skill drain or whatever. But there are better cards other than him, obviously. But uh, he's not bad. Plus he's dark. You know. Not that bad. And of course, Seven Colored Fish. I found out that Curly apparently missed out on a lot of Seven Colored Fish. Seven Colored Fish was always kind of like a staple in these types of decks back in the day because of how strong it is. Um, so, uh, yeah, we're playing that. Um, nothing else to mention about that. But yeah, we're basically sticking with not so many defensive monsters. Just try to go on the Assault. Uh, I'm not quite sure if I play enough monsters, but my worry about playing too many monsters is that I end up having a hand where it's just mainly monsters and not enough spells and traps. So I think it's a good balance, but we'll have to see. Uh, for spells, of course, we have Change of Heart. Change of Heart, I feel like, is too good to play, but you always want to just play a Tribute Summon Bulba Monster with it to get, you know, th that's how I see this card being so good. Uh, at this stage of the game, so uh, that's why I was really tempted to maybe play Summon Skull as well, but Summon Skull might not work out so well, especially given certain cards are playing. Cold Wave, uh, I didn't play this with the Morphing Jar deck because it didn't really work as well, uh, but basically it's a very, very powerful spell that I'm very, very glad we have. As far as I know, I don't think Curly has this card, but we'll see. But basically, you know, if you want to activate Cold Wave, it has to be activated at the very beginning of your turn. You can't play a card before it. Uh, it has to be the first card you play, and it basically cuts me and my opponent off from all of their sp spells and traps. Uh, you know, for my turn, especially for them, especially if they have face down cards. So this definitely allows us to, you know, not be interrupted by any spell or trap when we attack. So that's pretty good. You know, Cold Wave is just really, really good. Uh, Dark Hole, Fissure, hey, a Giant True Nade, Heavy Storm, Last Will, Monster Reborn, and we're playing the three offerings to the Doomed. Um, <clears throat> This is probably, you know, it's a spell card, but in a way it's kind of like a trap card, which we definitely needed more trap cards. Uh, the only downside with this card being that it was so powerful is that, you know, you target a face up monster and destroy it, but you have to skip your next draw phase. So it's very good in like a good, if I can perform really well with this card and be able to take advantage of the situation and not have it you know, kind of screw me over. I think this card is really, really awesome. I'm also pretty sure Curly's going to play this too. I don't see why he wouldn't play this, but we'll see. It's such a, with a quick play spell, it's a really good reactive card. I'm trying to play a lot of reactive cards uh, as much as I can that are good. Uh, and that's why we're playing the White Magical Hat as well, because if I can't draw, if using this card allows me to open a direct attack with white magical hat at least i'll be able to take a card out of curly's hand so that way it kind of cancels out the loss of a draw but uh, again we'll see what happens uh, but I, I i have a lot of faith in this card i feel like this will be a good card to play uh, pot of greed upstart goblin i don't know with this being a beatdown deck i felt like taking out upstart but i feel like it's just too good plus it's so easy to just you know if i want to side something in i could take this out now we're playing three fairy box. Now I thought about this a lot. The fairy box is a really, really good card, uh, although it's a coin flip card, so it might not work. But you know, if I, if my opponent, you know, tries to swing over Sangin or Mystic Tomato or White Magical Hat, even which is the best case scenario, and I call the coin right, uh, his monster's attack becomes zero. Uh, obviously, this won't work when he plays his Jinzo or I I play my Jinzo, but uh, I feel like it's just still such too good of a card not to play. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Plus you pay 500 every time, but we'll see. Uh, Imperial Order, Mirror Wall, I'm playing the ex for the exact reason I'm playing Fairy Box, although this is a guaranteed effect that will go off and it will cut my opponent's attack in half, which is crucial in a beatdown deck. And then two, Trap Hole. Trap Hole, I feel like is still good because we're not really special summoning monsters as much. Um, and it's a good reactive card. Um, much of the reason why I'm siding Magic Cylinder, as much as I would want to use it, I'm very, very excited to get it. I feel like this is a good surprise card uh, for game one and two. And even if I don't use it, it'll still be a good surprise card for Curly in the next episode uh, and going forward as well. This is a good card to kind of screw him over in case I notice that he might be, you know, having some strategies where he summons a really strong monster or powers up a monster. We'll, we'll see. Uh, but other cards in the side deck are a lot of flip effect monsters that I would love to play. But yeah, I just feel like he, 
uh, has really good answers to flip effects and kind of takes advantage of the fact that he gets to draw an extra card and deal with it. Um, so yeah, four star Ladybug of Doom. I wanted to maybe play one of them instead of Faith, but or try to fit them both. But I just feel like I don't want as many flip effects. I feel like two is too many. Uh, that's just my opinion anyway. Uh, Cyberjar, as much as I love Cyberjar, is such a nostalgic monster. The fact that, and he could destroy all cards in the field, but giving him five cards to draw, like that strategy was good last episode because I was trying to deck him out, but it also allows him to basically draw some powerful spells and traps to, you know, take advantage of. So we'll see. Uh, Goblin Attack Force in a beatdown deck. I thought about playing this, but the fact that he goes into defense and can't be switched for like two turns essentially, I don't know, he's just too easy to get over. Like, I mean, Amazon does destroy itself, but there is a chance that I could maybe tribute like a, a Sangan or something to keep her on the field, which could benefit me, whereas this just stays in defense, so I don't know. Morphajar number two, I think this is a good card. Probably better than Cyberjar for me, because it doesn't add cards to Curly's hand. It also can get rid of spells and traps, but I don't know, it's not really... Um, I feel like this is a good card to maybe side in or whatever. Maybe he'll side out his, like, noblemen's and stuff like that. We'll, we'll see. Uh, two extra f unfriendly Amazon in case I think this card is better than I give it credit. But there's no way to know because I don't test this deck. I don't go into any rooms to test it. You know, we'll just see how it goes. The third white magical hat. With the side deck right now, I never know what to really side. I just kind of side in cards that I thought about adding. Uh, originally, I wanted to play three hat, but I decided to take one out. But we'll see. Uh, Nobleman Extermination, uh, I don't think I should be playing, I thought about playing one, or main decking one, but, uh, I'm just gonna side them both. I think this is a good card, uh, and then also, you know, on top of Magic Cylinder, just as a surprise card. Uh, Light of Intervention, I thought about maining this as well, because, um, Curly does also play some flip effect monsters, and this kind of screws him too. And the fact that I'm not playing any flip effect monsters, or barely even, which was the idea was to play none. I thought about maining this to maybe screw with him, um, because you know we're we do a lot of like we got like a lot of different burn cards, so I don't know if Curly might be maybe going a little start to use way more flip effect monsters. But I'm gonna side this. I think this is a good main deck card. Uh, at this point, but I'm just not sure. I, I'm not going to be, I'm not too comfortable maining one or even two, uh, so I'll just side three of them if I have to. So that's essentially the deck. Um, really hoping we, we can win. I, I'm really, really excited to duel them tomorrow, but we'll, we're, we're going to hope to be able to even the score. Or not even even the score, but, but, but possibly even the score. So <laughs> we'll see how it goes. All right. All right. So now that we're recording, I'm just going to say we're fucking like rivals now. Like it is, it is on. Because <laughs> I, I am down. I'm three losses right now. Oh, to, that is true. To your one, so I all I'm gonna say is good luck, man. All right, good luck. Yeah, I I am not screwing around anymore. No more, Oof. no more crazy ideas. Although I I thought my idea was pretty cool though. I thought so too. I was really happy. About my idea game. seemed pretty like genius until like you had like way better cards to deal with face down monsters. Yeah. Exiled Force, Nobleman, Dark Hole, freaking Relinquished. <laughs> I'm like, ah, oh, great. What can I say? Cards are good. Um, All right. I will set. All right, here we go. Set. Okay. Go ahead. All right. Get that extra card. Uh, okay. Yeah, not screwing around this time. All right, we are going to. That's interesting. Um. Yeah, I'm going to summon Seven Colored Fish. Okay, sure. All right, I'm going to attack your face down card. You will regretfully take 200 points Humanoid of Humanoid Slime? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> no way. Okay, hold on. Wait a minute. Okay. <laughs> Humanoid Slime. <laughs> Was not expecting that card at all. What about wow. this card? This uh, hold on, hold on. Before you draw. Oh, oh no. Put oh. that back top of the deck sure yeah put that back okay cool and you're um, shuffle as well yes i so guess this goes to the grave i will shuffle sorry about all that all right no you're good no you're good <laughs> oh boy that's a good card yeah. um <laughs> i will summon my own seven colored fish son okay i will crash all right i can't stop that uh main phase two you ready for this 
Are you ready? No. I'm going to banish seven colored oh. fish. Oh. Um, and I will summon Aqua Spirit. Okay. Um, then I'll just then return. Interesting. Okay, wait. Let me see. What, during each of your opponent's standby phases, you can change the battle position of one of your opponents to face up monsters. Okay. Interesting. All right. Let me read Imperial Order because I've never used this card in my life. Yeah. All right. During my uh, standby phase, you must pay 700 life points. This is not optional. Mm -mm. Or uh, this card is destroyed. I. Hmm. Do I want to keep it? At this point, do I want to keep it? Um, oh, that's a pretty good card. Yeah. You can't activate spells either, so I think I will take the 700 okay. to keep it on the sure. field. All right, so uh, and what we're also going to do is I think I will set a monster. Okay. Set a card. There you okay. go. Cool. All right, Stand so yeah, all of our spells are negated. Yes, regretfully. All I right. will set. Um, I'll go to battle. I'll okay. swing into your face down monster. All right, you attack Mystic Tomato. Ah, uh, pits. Okay. So with the ah uh, piss, um, <laughs> and I'm going to. Oh, not not in defense, but I'm going to. Oof! Went to the black forest. Okay. Yep. Um, main phase two. I will look at your witch of the black forest menacingly, and I'll end my turn. <laughs> All right, draw, and uh, I'm going... Oh, yeah. And you're going to go to your standby phase? Yeah. Just because I can, uh, I'm going to put this in defense mode. Oh, okay. Gotcha, <laughs> gotcha. I thought you were going to play, like, Dust Tornado or something. Okay. And I am going to pay another 700 to keep it on the field. Okay. All right, main phase. I am going to tribute. Oh wait, I'm stupid. I'm a tribute for Jinzo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just yeah. realized what I just done. All right. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, now spells can be activated. But with uh, Witch of the Black Forest, I am going to. Uh, I don't think there's a wrong answer to any of these, but we will see. Um, I guess. I have quite a few choices. I guess mm -hmm. I'll... No, I think I'll be... Yeah, I'll add Hysteric Fairy. Ooh, okay. Why not? All right. Go to Battle Phase. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to attack into Aqua Spirit. Sure. That is 800. All right. She will go to your grave. Yep. Fortunately, spells are good, but, I mean... I, I, I'm pretty sure I still have to pay. Because that's like a cost or something. No, I think it's since its effect is negated, there's nothing that yeah, can... Yeah, it's just there on the field, but at least it's still there. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Once Jinzo leaves the field, spells are back to being negated. Okay. So in that case, I will just throw this down. Ooh. You played Burn? <laughs> I will inflict 500 to myself. Yep. Classic so card. Graveyard. I will set a card, and I'll end my turn. Okay. We'll draw. Very interesting to see what you were trying to do. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm going to normal summon my hysteric mm -hmm. angel. <laughs> I think that was the other name for it. <laughs> Jinzo attacks humanoid slime. Yep. And then 1800. Ouch. 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 And I will <laughs> set base down card and pass. Okay. Okay. Stand by main. Oh, Lord. Uh, I will set this threatening card and end yeah, my turn. Very threatening. <laughs> All right. I will normal summon Bezu the Soul Eater. Oh, my God. Okay. Ultra rare. <laughs> wow. Um, I don't see really any point. Uh, wait. Uh, until. I guess I'll, I'll banish one card. Okay. So that he has 1900 attack. Sure. Because why not? 1900 is pretty threatening. I'm going to attack with Jinzo. That will get rid of my monster, yep. Wow. Are you pl You know what? I bet you're playing like Legendary Ocean or something. I would love to, but Legendary Ocean is not available. It's not? Not yet. 
Oh. Ah, oh, stand by me. But did Tornado Wall release though? Um, I'm pretty sure I Tornado so. Wall was in one of the sets though. I don't know if they came together. Ooh. I will summon okay. Exile Force. I don't think you have anything in response. So um, gonna... actually, I do. Okay. I'm do going you? to activate Offerings to the Doomed. Wow. Wow. So, and I'll skip my draw phase, but yep. I'll set this to the graveyard. Um, and then I will admit defeat because I got none. <laughs> Woo! All right. Let's go. Uh, Jinzo's good too fucking good, but. Way too we, good. We both have one, so it's fair, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I mean, can't complain. Woo! All right. Yeah. That poor, poor order into... really screwed you. Yeah, that's a really, really good card. Yeah, I, I don't know if the rest of the duel's gonna go like that, but that was still pretty, pretty awesome. I sure as heck do hope not. Yeah. Um, <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, go I'm ahead. going first. Good luck. Okay. Of course. This time I I noticed. All right. Yes. Uh, I will. I'll activate Upstart Goblin. Um. Yep. That's fine. All right. Let's let's see what else we can get here. Okay. I am going to normal summon some Briah the Dark. Wow. Okay. I'm going to set two cards. Okay. All right. Good luck. Send by main. I will activate. I don't know if you've heard of this card. Um, it might be a new card, but I'll activate Upstep Goblin. <laughs> okay. I was about to say. <laughs> Is that good? What are you talking about? Like. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I will draw one card. Um, I will throw down this fissure for okay. the Zombra. The dark yep, here. Can't stop that. I will normal summon. Um, okay. No, I will no, you not won't. normal summon. <laughs> <laughs> that I won't. Um, then I will set two. Okay. And I'll end my turn. All right. Starting off with a solid 9,000 points. Mm -hmm. All right. Seven colored fish. Yep. That's good. Direct attack. That's good. Okay. I'll eat it. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. That's not how that works. Um, there we go. There we go. All right. And I'm going to set a card. Go ahead. Okay. Standby main. Oh, I love this card. I'm going to activate Bait Doll. Oh, that's sick. Ooh, what is okay, this? Okay, so, all right. So just so people see. Okay, so you target a card. Mm -hmm. And if it's a trap card, I'm forced to activate it. Mm -hmm. But uh, what if it's a spell? Then it just goes back. Down. It just goes back face down. Okay, so mm -hmm. you revealed Offerings to the Ooh. Doomed. So now you know Offerings to the Doom is there. It is not a trap, so I will set it back. Gotcha. Yeah, Bait Doll's uh -huh. a really cool coin. Oh, yeah, that's right. And then one that. Um... Yeah, it goes back to my oh, deck. Oh, if it is not button. a trap card, return it face down. And when this card resolves, shuffle back into the deck. Yep. Okay. I forgot I'll about that. that um, yeah, I thought about Bait Doll, but yeah, I, I, I knew what it did, but yeah, I didn't decide to add it, so I, n I had no way of knowing what the other effect was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. It's such a cool card. Uh, Obviously, there are better cards, but still, Bait Doll's pretty awesome. I will set this out, and I love Bait Doll. I, I love goofy cards like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so unique in its own way. All right. Yeah. Um, I'm going to attack your face down, monster. This is a repeat of game one. Please take 200. All right. I, I really hope this is a repeat of game one. I really <laughs> hope so. <laughs> um, I think, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end my turn. Great. Uh, stand by me. Yeah, I, I'm about to say, I, I, so now that I know you're on like a water-based deck, I was like, is he fucking playing Worm Drake and Polymerization? <laughs> <laughs> like, is he going with like a fusion type deck? That's That would be awesome. Um, playing like I... Ancient Brain and shit. <laughs> like just just so that like if you have poly then like hopefully you have other cards that can make something yeah like that's what makes me think like what what was going on there that's I hilarious wish that was i know that'd be so honestly. sick <laughs> all right i'm gonna set a monster and end my turn okay great had yeah. i more i thought um, i was the one that did the 2000 defense monsters and it wasn't working you too were. Well. <laughs> yeah now you're doing it i will this is gonna be interesting i'm gonna set copy my deck list no <laughs> I'm gonna set this guy into attack. Okay. I'm going to activate the super powerful mage power. Oh shit! On humanoid slime here. 
Okay, so now he has, um, let's see, he gains 2,000 attack, so he has a 2,800. Yep. Pretty interesting. Okay. I will go to battle, and I will hit into your seven-colored fish. All right, Great. so I'm going to activate Fairy Box. Oh, Lord. So now, uh, for people that don't know, basically, <laughs> I flip a coin, and I call it. If I call it right, Humanoid Slime's attack now becomes zero. Yep. If I call it wrong, nothing happens. It just the attack goes through. So I'm gonna yep. call heads. Okay. All right. Let, let's 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 see what happens. Please tails, show me that boot. Holy Hell fuck! Yeah. All right, shit. <laughs> Get that out of here. Yeah, yeah. Now you don't have to do that again. I know. All right. <laughs> All right. Hot um, damn. Good. I'm glad. Um, okay. But but you activating mage power makes me think you have not drawn any monsters so far. Yeah. Yeah. So, and you probably yeah. set some cards just for mage power. It's not even that big a deal. If you say um, so. Yeah, we'll see. I will... Whew. Oh, yeah, I have to pay... Yeah, that's right. My standby phase, I have to pay 500 to keep Fairy Box on the field. So I'm going to mm -hmm. do that. Thank All right. you. I'm going to set another card, and I'm going to normal summon Hysteric Fairy. Oh, okay. And I'm in my turn. Okie dokie. Now we got a rampant humanoid slime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not, not, ex not, never really expected that. I'm just gonna set Ooh. a card. Okay, so now um, he is at 3,300 attack. Yes, okay. I will go to battle. I will attack your face down, monster. All right, so we are going to. Um, actually, yeah, I'm gonna let that go through. Actually, I'm not gonna activate nothing because okay. it's Sangin. Okay, okay. And with Sangin, I am going to grab. Is it optional? What do you mean? Sangin? No, Fairy oh, Box. Oh, Fairy Box? I think oh, you wait, when your opponent monster declares an attack, toss a coin, call it right. Huh. Oh, okay, you know what? You you are you are right. It doesn't state that you can. So let's Okay. I I'm I really actually want to call the wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna say oh. You know, no, I'm going to stick with heads, but I'm going to hope that it fails. Okay. So heads. Oh, oh wow, God. yes. You got it. Thank you, Fairy Box, for failing me again. This actually yeah. works out. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, I, I didn't know. I, I thought Fairy Box was uh, optional. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, okay. but yeah, I'm going to grab Witch Lady. Uh, I keep calling her Witch Lady Black Force. Witch I feel like Lady. someone in the anime called her that. So that's yeah. why I say it. It's okay. Yeah. Um, all right. I will just end. Go ahead. All right. Okay, I'm gonna pay we... 500 again. Okay, okay. Keep fairy box, and I'm going to. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna set monster mm -hmm. pass. Cool. It's a very interesting situation here. Stand by main. Um. <sighs> I really don't want to have to regret this. Uh, I'm going to activate Dust Tornado on this fair box. All right. Can't stop that. Tag these shenanigans. I'm going to set this. 2,800 attack now. Yep. Okay. I will go to battle, and I'll swing into your fairy. Uh, on damage step, mirror one. Okay. I thought you were going to activate another one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, nah, mirror okay. wall's better. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Yeah, so um, on damage step. So that's gonna be fourteen. I'm gonna lose four hundred. Yep. I lose two. Human old slime. Well, I actually go to the graveyard for once. Yep. Okay. Um. That's rough, buddy. That's rough. Yeah. <laughs> Not a fan of that. Go yeah. Ahead. Now, to be fair though, with like you got rid of Fairy Box, but like the the plan definitely was if you were going to swing into her, like if Fairy Box failed, I would just activate Mirror Wall. Yeah. Because it's oh, all the man. damage steps, so. You were kind of screwed. <laughs> yeah, no way to get there. Um, I don't think I'm going to pay 2000 Okay, sure. Which is the cost for Mirror Wall, people mm -hmm. that don't know. Um, okay, so I have an interesting play here. Um, what could that face down be? Good question. I'm asking myself that too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know what? I have an awesome play actually. This is gonna be hilarious. Uh, first, uh -uh. I'm gonna activate Heavy Storm. 
Um, I'm gonna do magic drain. Ooh, oh, you've really. <laughs> oh, you really had to do this to me. <sighs> you know, this guy. Oh, is you son of a bitch. Alright, so for those that don't remember, magic drain negates a spell unless I discard a spell. Yep. Which would stop it, so. Oh, alright, I'm gonna do it. I think it's worth Oof. it. Yep. Yeah. You got rid Not of a bad. card I was gonna activate later. Oh, yeah, so you did set some spells that. Yep. Yep. Yeah. There goes my reference to the doomed. All right. Well, at least you you have less cards. So unfortunately, all right. I'm gonna summon my other hysteric fairy. Oh dear. Okay. I'm gonna flip summon my witch of the black forest. Oh See, dear. See, change of okay. heart. I definitely would have taken that monster and then tribute it for a thousand life points, but that did not happen. Yeah. But instead, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna attack your monster with angel. Okay. It's going to Ooh, be okay. my own witch. Um, right. I will get. Something <laughs> useful. <laughs> <laughs> Giant oofs. Um, that could work, but I don't know if that's. Can't grab good. humanoid slime with her. Damn. No man. That would be good. Um. Jeez. <laughs> um. I. I. I guess, but then I can end up just breaking out. All right, I'm I'm gonna add. Gotta you love Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, okay. I see the I see the gamble. That's pretty good. Yeah. All right. Uh, attack with witch. Yep. I'll attack take that. with fairy. I'll take that. Um, I don't think I'm gonna activate her tribute effect. That was gonna be for the change of heart target, but. Okay. Go ahead. Fair enough. Oof. All right. I will set one card. Oof. I will normal summon cybernetic Clapatonian. Cyclopian. Yep. Cyclopatopatopatopian. Um, <laughs> as I only have one card in my hand, yeah. I will special summon Elemental Hero Bubble Man. Okay. But my unlike the super... anime, you can't draw two cards. Yeah, because I have cards on the field. Um, my super awesome play that comes out every game somehow. Yeah. Not 2400 um, attack uh, monster is great. Yeah. I will attack and see this Hysteric Fairy. Okay, so for I will 600. Take 600. Okay, it's good play, good play. Oh, Oof. All right. All right. Let's go. What do we got? Okay. I will switch which lady. Mm -hmm. I will set a card. Don't really mm -hmm. have to do that first, but I'm going to do it anyway. And I'm going to attack over Bubble Man. Um... Hmm. Is it worth it? Yeah, I'll, I'll do Magic Cylinder here. Okay. Okay. You hate to see it, but yeah. <laughs> it is what it is. All right, go ahead. Oof. Might have been worth it. Um, I'm going to activate Pot of Greed. I'm going to activate Imperial Order. Oh my fucking God. All <laughs> right. <fucked. laughs> All right. Uh, the Cyclopean's still 2400. Yes, he is. So I we still have an issue here. Okay. Yes. <laughs> it's another All 600. Right. Another 600. Oof. Okay. Oh, and my I thought that heavy storm would like, you know, be pretty good. Oh man. Okay. All right. Uh, I am going to pay the 700. Okay. And uh, yikes. All right. I'm. Oh, this is sad. <laughs> No, I think it's worth it. Alright, I'm gonna summon seven colored fish. Sure. Attack over Bubble Man. Okay. Bubble Man will go to the grave. Alright. <sighs> go ahead. Standby main. I will set a card. Okay. Your boy is powered up again. Yeah he is. I will <laughs> there's no way he, there's no way you're gonna draw a card you can't play. Like it's impossible. <laughs> With the type of decks that we have. Yep. Uh okay. And uh, yeah, I'll end my turn here. Please. Will you pay 700? Um. Oof. God. Um. <sighs> okay. Okay. You got about two more uses out of that. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I mean. 
This is I still fun, and I wouldn't mind a game three, but come <laughs> on, bro. Let's fucking go. <sighs> Gosh, that's what are the odds that that's Cyberchar? If I attack into this, you get Jinzu or Summon Skull, which has more attacks than this. Yeah. <laughs> um, you only have one Witch, so that can either be a Sangin, Mystic Tomato, yeah. Cyberchar. Um, I, I have to kind of do it, but if you hit this, then I get... Who gave this man a 2400 attack <laughs> monster, bro? This is You have Jinzo, what are you talking unfair. about? Yours don't need a tribute. And you have Jinzo. <laughs> I'm outnumbered. <laughs> um, <No. laughs> it's your two 2400 attackers against one of mine. Yeah. Nah, nah. Nah. <laughs> All right, oh, you love Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, man. It's... Either I attack, you get Summon Skull or Jinzo, or you blow up the field. Uh, I'll attack your face down. Okay. Hoping for Cyber Jar to come through for you, but it is Mr. Tomato. Oof. Okay. Alright, so I will go ahead and... I will... Who do I want to grab, actually? I'm in, I'm in such a weird spot right now that I, I kind of need monsters, so I think I'm going to grab okay. another tomato. Fair enough. Because, like, I, I, I have, like... Well, we have the same cards right now, the number of cards, yeah. but, yeah, like, I need... Oh, I need something. Okay. I don't think that Go was ahead. a wrong move. Time to pay that 700? Uh... <laughs> hey, if you, uh, if you don't and you leave your tomato in attack mode, I win the game. Okay, but listen, what are the odds that you set a Sangin or a Witch That's... right now? Because if you did, Cyclopean's attack would go down. I just realized that. This is true. Because he would be full... No, wait, hold on. Sangin optional? Um, no, no. Witch is not optional. Nope. What about Sangin? Add one monster, so it's not optional. Nope. Okay. Unless I just don't have a monster. That is true, but then you have to show me your deck. But yeah, that is true. Yep. I'm not going to pay, because this, this is rough. Okay. Like, although it's good that you haven't been able to summon any... Oh god! All right, <laughs> all right. I have to go for it because this is the only. This is the like a pretty Oof, good play okay. right now. All right, so I have seven colored fish, and I'm gonna switch okay. which to attack. So my hope right now, for the love of God, is that one of your face down monsters is indeed a witch. Sure. Actually, let me check the grave. Actually, okay, you have one witch, so it could be Sangin or your other two witches. Mm -hmm. <sighs> all right. Who knows? Maybe I set Jinzo face down. That's impossible. <laughs> you know this. Ah, oh, come on, bro. Let's fucking go. All right, Mystic Tomato, attack this monster. Are you sure you don't want to attack the other one? I'm pretty. I made my decision. All right. It is actually going what, to be. What a psychological bullshit is like. Are you sure? It's like it won't work in Yu-Gi-Oh, bro. You gotta be confident. Uh. What is it? It is. It is. Is a Cyber Jar. <laughs> it is a pretty solid card. Um. She hails from the Black Forest. It is yes. Which... Let's fucking go. Power Add your card. You my deck. Add your card, bitch. <laughs> um... <laughs> I, sh I should have attacked with Witch Lady first, but um, actually, no. If I did, that it, it, she would still be on the field. But I would know she was there. Hold so on, let me check something. Um, that. Let's fucking go. That and that gives me what? This. Yeah, wh which gives you some really good options to choose from, though. That. Um. Let's go. I mean, I guess I can take the gamble. I will add Matazo the Zapper. Ooh, my okay. Head. All right. So now Cybernetic will lose. Yeah, I'll be back to fourteen, and this is my one chance to get him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Who would have thought he'd be such a threat? Yeah. Oh, that's so good. Um. I'm actually going to not attack your face down. Because okay. it could be like humanoid oh, slime, my God, and I don't want to take is... 900 damage. This is amazing. I'm gonna go to my main. F oh. oh no! I'm gonna try to go to my main face. Uh oh. Okay. Okay, there we go. I will flip up Magician of Faith. All right. Well. Okay. Uh, I'm going to add. 
Yeah, kind of have to. Pure order fucked me, bro. Um, I'm pretty sure it did. <sighs> what? Hold on. What choices do you have? Because you haven't decided yet. Oh, pot agreed. Oh well, mm. you got some interesting choices, but not too um, bad. I'm gonna do some quick maths. Um, so this okay. and this and that. And that's that. Minus this. That's. Yeah, that, that should be game. Um, I'm okay. going to add Mage Power to my hand. Okay, that's a good card. I will normal summon Mataza the Zapper. All right, okay. I will set a card. I'll Ooh, activate Mage Power. 2300. 2300 can attack twice. Twice. And this card. go to battle. Hate this I card so hit. much. <laughs> yeah, hit that's, uh, that's 1200. That is, uh, no, that is, uh, yep, no, you're right, 1200. 1200. Is there anything I could add? No, there's no Karibo oh. or anything in here. Yeah, so it's not going to make a difference, because I'm just going to no, attack into not. that for game. Oh, man, well, yeah. <laughs> all right, that was, that was a good, that was a good play, that was a good play. Yeah. All That's right, good. all right, all right. Okay. All right, here we go. Big old game three, good luck. Yep, game three. Oh boy! At least all it right. wasn't as bad as last time. Yeah. All uh, right, all right. I will just set two cards and my turn. Go ahead. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead. Start strong. Seven color fish. Man, how do how do we keep meeting like this? I don't understand. Uh, it's humanoid slime again. <laughs> what the fuck? That's all right. That's all right. Um, I'm. Oof. Uh, I'm going to activate Fissure, actually. Okay. Yep, so we're going to get rid of that, and we're going to set two cards that go ahead. Alright. Uh, oh, that's oh. such a shame. It's fucking humanoid slime. <laughs> I will just set a monster. Um, I'll end my turn. Go ahead. I don't see why you wouldn't play three of those. So that, that's <laughs> definitely a problem. I'll let you know why at the end of the video. Okay. I'm going to normal summon Hysteric Fairy. Yep, that's right. that's fine. Seven colored fish attack. Seven colored fish is going to reveal which of the black bars. Okay. So I will go ahead and add from my deck to my hand the all powerful, almighty Jinzo. Okay. But regretfully, I will take eighteen hundred. Yep, that's true. All right, go ahead. Okay, stand by main. All if right. you have it, I'm going to cry many tears. I will activate change of heart. I do not. Oh, thank God. I will take this fish. Okay. That's a good card. Uh, I will tribute said fish for Jinzo. All right. You hate to see it. <laughs> um, yeah. I will not normal summon again, so I will just go to battle. Uh, no, yeah. <laughs> Here. I, get that, I get that reference. <laughs> yeah. right. And I'll just unlock Oh man, out. change a heart into tribute summon. You hate to see it. You really hate to see it. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna set. Go ahead. Okay. Oof. Stand by main. Um <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Um I mean, I kind of have to, right? I'll summon Mahawalo. Ooh, yeah, I forgot you play that. I will activate Malevolent Nuzzler. Okay, ooh. Power okay. big boy Mahawalo. Uh -huh. He is going to get a nice, hefty, um, 1300, um, right? Yes, no. uh, five, no, 1200. 1200. Yeah, 500 plus 700. That's yes. 1200. Yes, so he will have a twenty-seven fifty. Exactly, big Man. fat twenty-seven fifty. Okay. Um, Jinzo will swing into all this right. So it's same recruiter. Guy. Yep, a <laughs> recruiter. Um, <laughs> ooh, okay. With that, I will add magician of hand. faith. Mm -hmm. uh, I see. I see where this is going. Yep. Um, I will swing in for twenty-seven fifty. Sad. Okay. Um, and I'll just end. Go oh, ahead. Oh, those equip spells now. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Okay. 
I'm going to set. Go ahead. Gee, I wonder what that is. Um, stand by main. I will activate upstart goblin. Ooh, okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take all I can get. Let's <laughs> <laughs> go to the grave. I will draw. Oh, man. Will it even matter? Um, yeah. All right. I'll normal summon, unless you got something crazy. I don't think you've got it. I think you would have used it by now. Uh, Mataza the Zapper. Okay. I'm going to go for Broke here. I'm going to attack into your Magician of Faith. All right, so it was a little bit of a bait and switch. So this is four-star Ladybug. So Ma Vilo gets destroyed. Not bad, not bad. Yeah. Um, I will not pay to bring it back. Okay. But I will swing in with 13 again. Man, I wish Mitch uh, Zapper had, like, like I checked it real quick More just to time. see if it had some kind of thing where, like, he could only attack monsters twice. Nope. But no, he can does attack what, again. All right. Does whatever the heck he wants. Oh, man. All right. Thankfully, those thousand life points didn't make a difference. Um, no, not really. I, will end. <laughs> I was, um, was going to be so upset if you had, you know, oh, like a thousand man, life please, points left. for the love of God. Okay. Um. Hmm. What can I? No, there's nothing I can really do. Huh. Oh, that'd be kind of weird. It's kind of a stupid, mm -hmm. kind of a weird move. <sighs> as long as it works. F fuck it. I mean, if I don't do this, it'll kind of suck. So I am going to normal summon white magical hat. Okay. And I will go to battle. And I will okay. to zapper. Okay. Is that good? Yeah. All right, Can't do I'll anything take, about it. Take 300. Uh, whoops. Uh, all right. Main phase two, I'll activate last will. Okay. Okay. So let's just summon a weak monster. And I'm going to go ahead and do this. Is okay. that good? Uh, yeah, that's fine. All right. Set. Go ahead. <clears throat> interesting. Like the only Very thing I can really do. Okay. Stand by main. Um... I hate to do it to you, buddy, but, yeah. um... Do it. Do it. <laughs> do it? Okay, I'll, I'll do it. Go ahead. I'll normal summon Exalt Force. Son of a bitch! Yeah. I will, uh... Do one of these. Yep. <laughs> Pop one of these. Yep. I will just swing in with the Yeah, no, you're good, okay. you're good. <laughs> Alright. I, I realistically had, like, no other choice except to maybe, you know, you would attack Mystic Tomato, get another tomato out, like as like a defense mm -hmm. and you attack into it i still be alive and have like a sangan or something on the field mm -hmm. uh, man yeah no summoning jinzo so early really Oof. helped so much Oof. and yeah i would have lost like four star ladybug i was hoping you would uh, like summon another four star monster so i could get a little more value from it oh man I actually, that turn, I, I had Exiled Force already, and I drew into Mataza. I was actually going to play Exiled Force, get rid yeah, of Yeah, that would have killed that. me anyway. Yeah. yeah. Sam. So. Well, that oh, didn't man. go That didn't go too well. <laughs> I, I think um, using Fissure too early kind of screwed me. Well, Why did I do maybe, that? I, I, maybe. I was trying to keep you from, like, tributing it. I don't know why. Like, I, I, my, the whole point of the deck was to be a little bit more aggressive. Yep, you definitely were. And like, oh, fuck, bro. Well, good game. But yeah, summoning Jinzo early, I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Like, because <laughs> I'm playing, I'm playing, uh, I'm playing three of these. Wow. Okay. Which was like the answer to Jinzo. Yeah. Uh, but since I already used Fissure, now I'm hoping to draw either one of those or Dark Hole. And yeah. that that's literally it. Like, I don't actually, um, I don't play as many flip effect monsters this time. Because I thought oh, maybe that's what... that dopamine and stuff. Yeah, I was yeah I was like I, I'm not gonna play so slow anymore. And like I actually almost thought about siding in like morphing jar and, and cyber jar, but I actually 
brought in the four star ladybugs instead. Mm. Oh man, but yeah, something Jinzo really like. Winzo Jinzo just wins games. Yeah, you know, basically. on his own. Oh man. So let me tell you this. Um yeah, yeah. for for the actual set, um it was uh what what you wanna call it? Um Labyrinth of Nightmare. Yeah. I pulled complete and utter booty. I didn't booty? Like get anything good. Really? Nothing How's that good? You didn't get all the Doomed? Was bad. Uh, I got one of those. One? I wow. Um, I got, like... I got like random things that just were not good. And no I was way. just really upset. <laughs> Fuck, so, man. Like, yeah, Jinzo is just too fucking good, man. The best thing I got was the Mage Power. So that was cool, right? Yeah. Um, I got... That definitely helped. A revival slang, which I can't use, and a mask up for the cursed. Those I, are my I, super rares. I did get a revival jam too, and I was debating on playing that because I thought it was good, like field presence. Yeah. Because uh, like when I was building my deck, I was trying to put as many strong monsters in it as possible, and not so many flip effects. But right. And right. like I, I realized that I didn't have many targets for Sangin, other than Sangin. Right, yep. You know, that's, so I was like, well, part, yeah. so I tried to add like a rival jam and then I thought like, okay, well with offerings to the doomed is a good answer to Jinzo so I could play more traps than I felt like I felt comfortable with. Yeah. Um, what else? Yeah. The fairy boxes. I was like, that's pretty good. Uh, what's yeah, it called? Yeah. Got Bazoo Soul Eater, which I was like, yeah, I'm not too hot on this card, but I think it's okay. Yeah, no, it's pretty um, solid. What was it? Yeah. Zambria the Dark. I also got unfriendly Amazon, but I, I wasn't too big. I wasn't too hot on uh, her because she could that. potentially destroy herself when my turn starts. Yeah, because yeah, you yeah. have to tribute another monster. But yeah, with Alvrings of the Doomed, I was like, okay, well, if I can't draw, if I can be a little aggressive and keep him without having monsters on the field, then I could use White Magical Hat to, you know, keep him from drawing more cards or, or or to have him lose cards if I'm going to lose my draw phase. So. I actually did the exact opposite. Um, I lied. <laughs> I, I actually got three offerings to the Dooms. But um, did you really? I, yeah, I just realized. It. But I did the opposite. <laughs> I, I did get Tornado Wall, and what I did game one oh, was that I yeah. I used Tornado Wall. I had Chain Energy. I had Yumi. I had a bunch what? of Water Monsters. I was just gonna stall you out and burn you out. Really? Let me see your deck. Let me see. <laughs> no way. I don't, it's not in this deck. I took it out. Game oh, two. Okay. I completely cited everything else out. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, you're playing, like, Island Turtle. I'm like, okay, what he wants to... Okay, you're playing Equip Spells with Hayabusa Knight. Yeah, you do have Cyber Jar. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't I, know. I, I, I had all that stuff in the side deck, and I just swapped out. That that game is deck. hilarious, yeah. I was yeah, like, yeah, you really like Hayabusa Knight. Like, you have some really threatening cards, bro. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, good, good game. Bait Doll's a good good touch there. I like that. Yeah, I love that card. Oh, man. Yeah, no. Oh. Everything was going pretty good. <sighs> yeah. It was game going pretty one, good, man. But that's, yeah. <laughs> game one went great. Game two, you almost had me. But I'm about to say, I like if I did not side in four-star Ladybug, because like, with Cyclopean and shit, I was like, yeah, yeah. I mean, this card will get rid of all of his <laughs> monsters that he keeps summoning. Yeah. Uh, I don't yeah. know what I was thinking. I should have just, like, because... I don't know. I'm starting not to like Cyber Jar anymore because the fact that he lets you draw cards too. Yeah, yeah, that was the problem last game that I kept getting my spells to hand. Yeah, like you were drawing answers. Like I was letting you like Morphing Jar at least can get rid of Jidzo, and yep. like if you mill him, he he can't be normal summoned normally. So right, like, right. Like, yeah, I should have did that instead. Oh well, that was still a good game, but uh, you know, after you know. I, I don't think there were any like misplays other than I'm gonna have to look up the ruling though like if I have to pay for Imperial Order with Jinzo my Jinzo on the field but that didn't no. matter no that didn't yeah, matter yeah. at all but uh, yeah I was gonna say so all right but you won but we both get to open a tin for next video yes because I'm a lost cheater, again so bro get a tin. <laughs> oh man oh uh, it's okay next it's like set I'm... is um what is the next set <laughs> who cares no I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, but uh, also um, I don't. I know you mentioned that you wanted to include some packs that uh, you know were trying to fit in there or whatever. Um, oh yeah, yeah. I was gonna say I'm having a lot of fun with this series, but like I worry about us getting like if we if we play this like for a long long time and we reach certain sets that we're not too excited about, like kind of like the newer mm -hmm. stuff or whatever. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if I'm like. I'm not like we'll still do it, I think. But it, like, if you want to add in like the other packs that came out, like Hidden Arsenal, like I don't know anything about them. 
Yeah. Um, yeah. But you were like, can we do that too? And I was like, yeah, sure. We can do whatever we want. We just have to kind of agree on it. You no, know? you know Hidden Arsenal. Hidden Arsenal is amazing because that's where like all of those weird monsters come in, like Allied Justice. Um, yeah. The Ice Barriers. Um, yeah, I was going to say, all we need to really do, Jibunity. I think. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, that's awesome. Um, I think pretty much what we're going to have to do is we're just going to have to like get a timeline on when those packs came out. And yeah, just yeah. like if, if they if they are in between the sets, then we'll yeah, just do them too. So that sounds like a lot of fun. A, it's sometime in five Ds, so we have a ways to go because they have like have singles and go. stuff. Yeah, yeah but yeah. I was gonna say we could literally like change up the rules a little bit to make it just as fun as possible, but as long as we both agree on it. So yeah, exactly. Like, that's we'll what we've been out. doing; has been working out pretty well. Yep. Um, but yeah, I had a lot of fun with this, but. Uh, yeah, Absolutely. I had like a very standard deck like they had back in the day probably, but Jinzo <laughs> just dominates like dominated Yu-Gi-Oh ever since it came out. It's just way yeah, too man. damn good. I mean, hey, you have your own. That's that's one of the reasons I got washed that's out. That's true. That's what one. makes this fair, but the the part that makes it not fair is the fact that you have 3 Witch of the Black Forest. This is true, yep. And like you you could get them faster than I can. Yep. Because I have Sangin and I like have to search which and then which into Jinzo, which takes a while. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like in the other game, there was that scenario where like you had Cyclopean. And I was like, I want him to attack Witch. But like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like, I don't want to just leave Witch by herself there. Yeah, yep. Like I have to summon another monster to defend with. So like, you're just not gonna attack her. Like I knew you yep. weren't. No, nope. fuck. <laughs> but I can't leave her by herself because that's too risky either. Because I have low light yep. voice, but. No, but that's what makes Yu-Gi-Oh so damn fun, especially in the early game. And uh, I I'm willing to learn the new cards if we keep this going for a long, long time. Um, yeah, you know. I mean, it's it's not like we're gonna go into the future and we're gonna pull uh, a full set of all of the crazy broken cards, right? It's just gonna be like random ones exactly. off of like new cards. So. Yeah, but I I'm willing to like you know, once we reach a point where I quit the competitive like then mm -hmm. i'm going to start like reading pretty much every single card that i get <laughs> yeah yeah and, yeah and and start to kind of go through the the history and learn like what i might have missed out on and, and then we'll go from there so it'll be really interesting definitely um so yeah i'm excited for that but yeah hidden arsenal or whatever sets that you know have come out over the years or whatever like special stuff we might try to do something special Yep. Um, I don't think we'll be open to McDonald's packs, but you know what I mean. Like we'll we'll like try to do something fun uh, if we notice something that we could do. So, but the McDonald's cards. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> we'll I, I don't. You imagine if we did a video where we opened like twenty four McDonald's packs and, just, I, and I'm went from sure there. Most cards like, are bad. I have I have no clue what's in it. It's just random cards. There's just like, maybe like one or two special cards, but everything else is just random. Like aren't, I'm pretty sure they're like one or two spell cards. That are probably yeah. decent, but I don't. I, yeah. I don't remember. Yeah, yeah. All right, but Nothing anyway, this was a lot of fun, and uh, I'll I'll be back <laughs> <laughs> next week, I'll, and I'm gonna be even more pissed off. I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting. Good luck. Yeah. All right. <laughs> all right, man. <laughs> Take care. All right. See you. <laughs> Bye.